So let's grow chili at home from seeds. I will try two ways. With seeds uh, bought uh, in a store and with seeds direct, directly extracted from the chili. This chili is a jalapeno. This one is a cayenne, cayenne type of chili. And I have here two different containers. One to put the this one directly from the, the chili and one to put the seeds bought from the store. So first thing, let's extract the seeds from this chili, jalapeno. Be very careful, wash your hands after uh, touching the chili. And inside, here you have lots of seeds. Let's take them out. There you go. Here we have a bunch of them, but I'm only going to use half a dozen, more or less. Again, wash your hands after touching the, the chili. Don't uh, touch your eyes, nothing, because it will hurt a lot. And over here, the seeds bought in the store. I'm going to put them out here. So let's see how they look like. It has another bag inside, okay. Oh, there they are, okay. And here are the seeds from the cayenne chili bought on the store. Before I sow the seeds, I will water the soil. And over here I have the seeds from the store, the cayenne chili. And over here, the jalapeno, I have the seeds extracted directly from the chili. And I will put, not too much, only six seeds in each container. Okay, so over here, I'll put one. Two, three, and six. I will not put more because then I'll have lots. I can have lots of chili plants growing, and I don't have uh, a place to put all of them. I will bury them slightly. Don't put them too deep, just push them slightly down and cover them with a thin layer of soil. And then water it again. This one came out, so I will put it again. Okay. It's always good to identify what's in the container and uh, the dates. So cayenne chili. And you also can cover the container with the plastic bag to maintain the humidity uh, in the soil. Now I will do the same with the other seeds so now the seeds extracted directly from the chili I will put six seeds over here if you're enjoying the video please put the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to receive more of my videos then I will cover them slightly
and then water it again and water it well. Identify what's in the container and the date and I will put the plastic bag to maintain moisture in this container. Keep it in a place that it can catch sunlight, maintain the soil humid, water it when necessary, and let's check to see when it starts germinating. So this was after one month and five days, the first sprout appeared. You have to be very patient, it takes long to germinate. Now this is two months after sowing the chili seeds and uh, the cayenne chili, as you can see, we have two plants, two sprouts that are growing well. On the other hand, the jalapeno chili, none of them grew. So I collected the seeds directly from the chili and no seeds had sprouts. So this doesn't mean that uh, it is not possible to collect the seeds from the chili, sow them and sprout them. It doesn't mean that, but in this case it was more difficult. Uh, so none of them uh, collected from the chili sprouted. And over here the seeds bought uh, in the store, uh, at least two of them sprouted. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to transplant these two chilies to a bigger pot. And I'm going to transplant the, these chilies to these cups that have holes in the bottom for the water to drain well. The other cup does not have holes. And I will put a rock inside to create some space between the two cups for the water to have space to drain. So now first thing I will fill these two cups with potting soil. The cup has already potting soil. Let's transplant these chilies. We be very careful while taking out the plant. Uh, that is important to uh, preserve all the roots when you take out the, the plants. Be careful not to damage the roots. So, here's the plant. Here is the new container. I'll put this like this. Press it down make a good contact uh, between the roots and the soil. Water it a little bit. Don't exaggerate with the watering. Now let's do the same thing with the other chili. It has some roots. And now it is good to keep the chili plants in a warm place. It is important to catch sunlight. At this moment we are uh, entering the winter time. So uh, these chilies will not have uh, too much sun uh, and too much warm temperature. But anyway, if you can, it is very good to the plants to keep it in warm temperature, not too warm, but warm temperature uh, to catch sunlight and don't uh, water it too much. Uh, you don't need to water it every day. Uh, water it only when you see that the soil is uh, getting dry and that will be sufficient.
So now the chilies are growing and they're looking fine. I will make a new video showing how the plants develop. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe and to put the thumbs up. See you and goodbye.